Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying four drinks for you. So these are Freddy's, uh, this is Freddy's Old Fashioned Root Beer. This is Freddy's Old Fashioned Ginger Beer. And I have Lost Trail, uh, Black Cherry, and Sarsaparilla. <laughs> these were $1.99 each at Liquor Barn, which I think is probably a, a normal price. This is so cool though. Right before the video started, um, I, I looked at the labels just to see because I'm always curious where things are made. We, When I picked these up in Liquor Barn, this Freddy's, I said, I've never seen that, never heard of it before. And so I'm looking at the label and it says it's bottled under the authority of Buffalo Trace Distillery in Frankfort, Kentucky. Um, and what's so cool about that is Buffalo Trace, they make bourbon. And Kevin and I, years ago, we did a took a whole tour of Buffalo Trace, and it was really, really cool. I mean, anybody can. A anybody <laughs> can, yeah. Um, but who knew, we didn't know that this cola, this uh, drink, was made by uh, uh, at Buffalo Trace. I wonder if it's actually bottled at Buffalo Trace. It, or just, says, it says licensed under. Bottled, bottled under the authority of Buffalo Trace. So I think they bottle it at Buffalo Maybe. Trace. But I'm wondering if they make any more. This is the uh, root beer and ginger beer. Are these the only two they have or, or do they have more? Uh, it's a non alcoholic, <coughs> caffeine free. One bottle is 180 calories. It's a 12 ounce bottle. And we're going to be pouring these in glasses, even though, like, you can see the color of that. I'll go ahead and pour it out for you, just so you can see it. Did you say how much they were? I don't remember. $1.99 at Liquor Barn, yeah. Yeah, Liquor Barn, Liquor Barn is a, a good place to go if you want to find different things. So it's not, we had not been in there for probably two years, had not been in Liquor Barn. And we were going to be over in the area, and um, I told Kevin, I said, let's go in there and see what they have. And we ended up spending probably over $200 in liquor bar. Yeah, on just food and stuff. Yeah, it's stuff like this, yeah, uh, because <laughs> they have so many things. Even if you don't drink, you don't have to drink to shop mm -hmm. at liquor bar. Yeah, they got gift type items. Yeah, and our liquor barn, like, uh, they have a whole Kentucky section. Uh, so I'm sure in your state, it would be full of whatever, Is you know. Is liquor barn a region? I mean, a national chain? I would assume. I don't liquor? know. Somebody will tell me. Okay, so this is root, root beer. It smells really good. It's very sweet. Which I like. I have no issue with it being yeah, sweet. It's almost, it's almost so syrupy sweet that it takes away some of that bite of the root beer itself. It's good though. I really like it. I do too. Um, it, that leaves a nice aftertaste too. Yes, it does. It leaves a nice sweet flavor. You mm -hmm. feel like, honestly, you feel like you've picked up a bottle of <coughs> syrup because it's that sweet. It's very, very sweet. It, it's, it's uh, like a dessert, but it does not have... Uh, the bite of a uh, like barks or something. yeah exactly it's got a little bit there though so it you know, does oh yeah you know it's root beer yeah, that's a really good root beer actually I wish they made a diet version of it I know that's what I'm wondering uh, if they would have diet of any of these um, I'm very excited to try this because I love ginger beer yeah you love ginger beer this is 190 calories and go ahead and pour it a glass just so that we can, you know, if I do one, I have to do them all. Because <laughs> that's me. Yeah, I love ginger beer. And um, if I could find a good diet, I need to find a good diet. Uh, then I would drink ginger beer all the time. Okay. Yeah, ginger beer. We have ginger ale here. Like a um, L.A. And it's, it's, it's not quite what a ginger beer is. Once again, I like that. It doesn't have the, um, uh, some ginger beers have a very, very harsh bite to it. Mm -hmm. um, no, that's nice. That, yeah, that is not, it's not too much at all. It's That's more drinkable by everybody. 
Because some people nice. don't like that bite of ginger, that burn. Yes. Um, that is that's actually really nice. It just has a really good ginger flavor. Yes. So it's still super sweet. Most of the ginger beers, I think that that I like, I think it would be too much for other people. It's too much for you. Yeah, Kevin. Like I, I said, I could drink it all the time. Kevin wouldn't want it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kevin's right though. This, no, I could is, drink that. this is one, and even the root beer, this is one that anybody could drink and they wouldn't have a problem with it because it's not harsh. Mm -hmm. um, neither one of those are harsh. Uh, yeah, we'll have to look up the company and see if they make other things now. I'm curious. Uh, this is the Lost Trail Black Cherry <clears throat> Cane Sugar Low Sodium No Caffeine. A unique small batch draft style process ensures our soda is one of the very best anywhere. One sip and you'll taste the superior quality of our classic black cherry. These, um, it says black cherry, rich dark cherry flavor teases your taste buds with both sweet and sassy sensations all at once. Get ready for a bubbly new experience in soda. This rich delicacy from a not so distant past is your tongue's new soulmate. No high fructose corn syrup. It's made uh, by Lewisburg Cider Mill in Lewisburg, Kansas, and it is 150 calories for the bottle. I personally really, really like it. I guess as someone who reviews, but also just I just in general, um, I like it when they put a description on the label. I really do. Just say what it is. Yeah, that's not very carbonated. Either. Just say what it is. And yeah, just give you a little bit of description. Um, I think that's nice. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> I can smell it from here. That one wasn't as fizzy as the, the first two. Wow. Strong. It is strong. I like it, but it's a little medicine. It is. And it almost it comes. A to it, too. it almost comes across. It it's like it's thick. It's not thick. Like a syrup. Yeah. 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 Like it wants to to coat everything. Honestly, it's now that it's settled in and I'm talking, it's a little bit too medicine like for it's, me. It's a little bit. It's got a little bitterness to it, which yeah. makes it seem. Medicine. It reminds me of something like. I would take to get rid of a cough. Yeah, literally, that's what it takes. <laughs> it has a little bit of bite. Now it's sweeter than that because it doesn't yeah. have that really nasty medicine taste. But it, but it does remind you of a cough. It's so, all up in my sinuses, though. Like, it's good, but it's not one I would want to drink all the time. I would not drink that. No. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah it's not yeah. like it's bad or anything. It's just a little bit too heavy on the. Yeah. I mean, if somebody were to pour that for me, I would drink it, but I wouldn't go buy it. <laughs> Sarsaparilla, cane sugar, low sodium, uh, no caffeine. Let's see what they say on here. Uh, Sarsaparilla is known as the original version of root beer. The rich flavor comes from a tasty blend of roots and herbs with a slight note of vanilla. Some claim our frothy treat is even smoother and creamier than root beer. Like the old timers used to say, pour me a sarsaparilla. That's, That's how you, how you said it. it. <laughs> It's 150 calories. I have to say that. Yeah, see, and that's so nice that I was able to give you a description, and now we know notes of vanilla. And it's the old, it's the, it was the first root beer. Yeah. That's what root beer used to have in it. Yeah, that's, I, I really like having a description. It's a little lighter in color than the, the root beer. It's more, um, like, honey color. I, I like it. It's, it reminds it, you of a cream soda a little bit. Yeah, it is. Um, mm. There's no harshness to it. I like that a lot. It is sweet, but it's not syrupy sweet. It's not as sweet as that root beer. Oh, it seems pretty sweet. Uh, to I me, it what, does not the, come across as sweet as the first. The sarsaparilla has right. a little bit more bite to it. Mm -hmm. So it seems more root beery than, than this one. Because this one, remember, didn't have any bite heart at all. Yes, it has more bite than that, but I think that one, the Freddy's, is sweet. Oh, yeah. It's, you take a drink of that now, it's like drinking pure sugar. <laughs> I mean, literally, it's like, wow, that's sweet. It's like you've literally taken a spoonful yes. of sugar. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, that, so... It's good, but I like that sarsaparilla better. And I like... <laughs> Do you like the, yes. the pure... I mean, it's literally like, like I've had a spoonful of sugar. Yes, yes, it is, yes. That no, is I like that little bite from, I mean, that's the whole point of it's, drinking root beer. And 
so it's absolutely like you've eaten a spoonful of sugar but i love that and i mm. like over the top sweet so yes I'm the gonna flavors are similar but this one seems more sugary. It is more sugary. And with it's less absolutely. bite, whereas that one's a little less sugary. Do they tell you how much but, sugar they put in it? Oh, has, okay, they do. The, we can compare the sugars. Now, are we gonna be surprised if that one has less? <laughs> okay. Sugars? Just sugars. Sugar. Just sugars. Oh, wow. Good God. <laughs> okay. And yours is pretty high too, though. Mine has 37 grams of sugar. Mine has 44 grams. Okay, see, but, so it is mean, sweeter. Yeah. Wow, both of those are super, super high. Oh, see, I don't know what. If you're diabetic, you're just going to kill over. This that one has 37 as well. That's way too I can't even read it with my glasses. That one has 51. <laughs> See, I don't know. I know. Oh, sure. All I know is calories because that's all I do is count calories when I'm counting calories when I should be. Uh, but um, I don't know, like, what's a bad number for sugar? What's a bad number for salt? Just, I don't know. That's, I just. <laughs> that's pretty high because yeah, some, some of them have like, you know, 10 grams. Oh, so. okay. Well, yeah. See, I just don't even have a clue. Um, but, um, I think all these are good, honestly. I would drink all of them except the medicine. I, the black cherry, I wouldn't get again. Yeah. That's the only one, though. I, yeah, I could drink there. any of the other ones, but I would just avoid the Lost Trail black cherry unless you want to have a more medicinal flavor. Yeah, yeah if you like that. I love black cherry, but it's just got a little bit too much stuff. Too much, to me, so. yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.